Alright, I'm ready. Alright, then the trenches report live out here is Walking Sphere. We out here on a rainy day, coach. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. How you doing today? Doing good, coach. Three time national champions, getting ready for the fourth, man. What's the preparation like, man, with a couple of weeks away? Come in hard work. We need everybody in practice. Come in, focus, prepared to do your job. You know, it's just about fine tuning now, going over the X's and O's, making sure the kids communicate. You, you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about, Coach Man, was was outside of football, being being role models to to young to young men, man. How important is that, man, to have black males meeting other black males? I grew up in uh, Trinidad and North East, so it was kind of tough growing up in that neighborhood. So growing up in the inner city, it made me have to, you know, learn how to uh, be on man time. And basically that is man up, you know, how I tell my kids, grab your nuts. Like we got to own our mistakes. We got to be accountable for our actions. And, you know, we got to make good decisions at the end of the day. And that comes down to, you know, that's being a young black man. It's not the count of different things that other individuals would normally encounter. So when you encounter those things, you just gotta make the best decision. And that's what I teach my boys to make the best decision in those types of situations. So if you make the best decisions, man, they're gonna have a great life. You know, it's all about decisions at this time, this age, with all that's going on. Yeah, let me ask you, Coach Mike, man, what actually got you into coaching? Uh, my son, Mikey, Mikey Jr. Uh, my dad was a coach. My dad, uh, I actually posted a picture today with me and all my friends. I like, like how these kids growing up. That's how my dad raised us. We spent the night together. Kids from all over, Connor Terrace, all my friends from Edgewood. You know, I got friends from all over that played football with me. And I'm 38 years old and they're still my friends to this day. So I know the type of brotherhood it brings when you, know, you raise them right, you're still good boy morals and values in these young men. They could be raised right and, you know, show that they could do anything with hard work and dedication. You know, we kind of at a crossroads where you have the, the new D.C. meeting the old D.C. Because a lot of people see what's going on with the gentrification, what you see in the city. But it's still parts of the city, man, that's, that's dangerous, man. And, and that was one of the things that you talked about, you know, bringing kids from different communities together, man. For brotherhood and camaraderie. Yeah, man, respect man. We teach the kids, man. Man, respect man. All that other stuff everybody else got going on, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, these, these your homies, at the end of the day, they the ones that got your back. They the ones that's going to fight for you for the right thing. It's not about who's going to fight for you for the wrong thing. It's lead you in the wrong direction. Go ahead in the right direction if you want to live right. Live life the right way, man. It's a lot going on in the city, man. So, like I said, it's about the decisions. you got to make the best decision for you and your family. You know, speaking of that, Coach Mike, one of the things you have right now is the GoFund. How is that going right now with the support of raising money for the funds for the kids to get down to Florida? I mean, it's not going well, but it is what it is. You know, we're going to figure it out anyway, like we always do. Like, my friends, my family, the coaches, everybody, we always pull together and make it work. But this is what we talk about when we say we got some kids from all over the that cry about, you know, the crime and the things that's going on in the city. You got a chance to help them and get them out of the city to try to sit on y'all nuts and y'all hands. So it is what it is. We do our part. We don't complain or worry about what nobody else does. So we good either way. You know, the other day, man, it was a uh, proclamation came from Marion Bowles at Clock Boys Day. Yeah. Has there been any talks with the mayor's office or even the city council to talk about how, how they can get funds together to get uh, the clock boys now to Florida because of the fact, man, three-time national champion is about to go for the fourth, man. That's a, a huge positive. That wasn't her first time actually working with us. She actually helped us, you know, with the Easter. The uh, nightmare in D.C. we had at Easter. She actually helped us out with that. So it's it's been, we've been in conversation with the mayor's office, so we have partnered with them now. So we opening doors. We we talking to people that we never got to talk to before, and opening eyes and letting them know what's actually happening, happening in the city, the good that's happening. In the city. Everybody's so always paying attention to the negative. 
and pull so much on the negative. If you put that energy in the positive and help us raise these young men, it'll attract more kids, it'll attract more young men, it'll attract more families, and that's what take away from the violence. When we had those games, it's over 500,000 people at those games. It's a lot of violence stopped because a lot of those people were run early and cheering on these kids playing football. You know, that's a great example of that. I remember uh, over in Deadwood, man, it was a big crowd for that when, when y'all played at uh, school from uh, Philly. Yeah, like, I mean, the team from we Philly. We tried to put off Wild City. We brought Motor City Jacks from Detroit down here in Rosedale on H Street. Man. Like, so we try to, like, put off Wild City, show people it's a safe environment, show them it's nice, you can come here, it's beautiful, it's things to do, to the morning tour downtown. So, you know, we just try to show, treat people how we want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Show these young men, like I said, you can live a, a prosperous life with hard work and dedication, not cheap in the process. You know, in your process of being uh, the coach of uh, Watkins 13U, what's, what's one of the most difficult things that you had to deal with and how did you overcome it? Uh, these kids 13 and 14 years old now, so they got a mind of their own. So a lot of them, it's, they, they, you know, it's hard for the parents to reach them the way they want to be reached. They got the phones, they got the little girls. So it's a lot, it's, it's difficult coaching the older age. It's my second time doing it, but you know, the kids, we we grew them more love, respect, and honor. So as long as you got that respect, that love, and they honor one another, you know, it goes a long way. You, you know, uh, one of the processes too was the recruiting process that you talked about. How, how does that actually go for, for for these young men? Do, do, do the schools actually reach out to them or you help them with that process? Uh, it goes both ways. So a lot of the schools actually reach out to us as a team and, you know, they come out here, they see practice, they see the games and they'll say, hey, I like X, Y, and Z. So, you know, we might write a list down, have, hey, okay, this school like this kid, they have this. Hey, okay, every kid got names by their name, by what schools that's asked by, but not just private schools. But actually, line up public schools as well, so it's a lot of good schools, it's a lot of, it's, it's good for the kids, you know, educational guys, like they can get and go wherever they want, so that's pretty cool. Lastly, man, as we, as we wrap it up, what can they expect, man, as you get ready to head down to Kissing Me, Florida, man? I mean, we, we, we gonna represent D.C. Clock Boys Town like we always wear, like we put on for the city, they know how we live when we go out of town, big houses. So we're going to do something real big for the kids this year, for the city, man. Donate. Help the youngers out, man. Help us shout. Please donate, man. I'm a donor. Please, man, don't donate, man. This, this is good. We, we always post negative stuff all the time, man. We got something positive going on, man. You got to get behind it, man. Don't buy no table this weekend, man. Just donate to my youngest, man. It's all worth it. I promise you. I guarantee you. It's going to pay off. You going to say you paid for that young in 10 years when he in the NFL. You going to say you donated to him. So, come on, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all, DC. Hey, man, I appreciate your time, Coach Mike. All right, thank you. There you have it. Head Coach Walkers 13U, we out.